so in the last video we have learnt about chain styles now we will learn about helpers so there are multiple helpers but these four helpers I am going to teach you which are very important uh, to learn in the Android development in the constraint layout basically ok so so let's have a look at the helpers one by one so the first helper I can see is guideline okay so let's go to the Android studio and uh, now see guideline if you if you go to your layout if you right click on the layout design let the layout design come so here is your layout design if you right click on the layout you can see helpers right so vertical guideline horizontal guideline vertical barrier horizontal barrier group set of constraint layer and flow ok so guideline is is a invisible part when it renders or whenever you run your application it is one invisible view but it is visible in editor ok guideline will be used to create a limit for the positioning or to create uh, 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 you say a guideline for the positioning ok position of, uh, positioning of these widgets ok so let's create a guideline in this layout itself so I will just remove ok let's not remove this let me remove some some components here ok and I have button 1 2 3 but let me remove this button right now let me remove this button also ok so I have one button and one let me hide this panel too ok one button and I have one radio button ok so what this guideline will do it will give you one invisible guideline for that view ok so what I will do is I will take one image view here ok so let me take one image view and uh, ok so this image I can take as it is available for us directly ok and this button now I want to use I want to use this button below this image and uh, like that I want to create some area in my application which will be as profile area and below that area it will be the area of other content for example see this image in this image one line is there ok which is invisible so that line is basically aligning these text views ok these text views with that line which is a guideline so if I open this in, in let me open this in editor ok so I have opened this in my editor now if you can see these three are aligned into this line right these three elements or the six text views are aligned so you can see them in one line right so this there there must be some guideline here ok you can put three different different types of text view and then you can give margin from left but instead of giving a margin if you put a guideline you can set a good space so that your text can start from here ok now 
see this is not uh, this this could not be a single text view this can this can be recycler view list of items but for an example i am giving you this or or one more thing i can tell you is uh okay so see this this entire image <coughs> okay and you can see this is the content area okay so this entire area and this entire area these two areas will be separated by a guideline so with the yellow color i will draw a guideline this is the guideline okay so this area is divided using guideline okay so in case if you want to occupy only 25% of this area for this profile and everything data then you can write the guideline with 25% with the vertical orientation okay how to do that we will just have a look into the application so for example now i will draw two guidelines here okay and i will remove this button and instead of this button we will use text view so one text view for name one text view for designation or whatever contact number or whatever it is we will take okay and we will distribute the size of this entire screen into two parts one we will do 25% and other part will be the content so let's divide the first 25% part okay so here i will right click on this view i will go to helpers and then i will write horizontal guideline i will click on horizontal guideline you can see one guideline is drawn here right now if you go to design section na and if you select guideline here you can see all the properties of your guideline right <coughs> now you want to decide a position for that guideline see guideline is something that will never move once you set the position it will never move okay so there are three common attributes for this guideline one is layout underscore constraint underscore guide underscore begin layout underscore constraint guide underscore end and layout underscore constraint guide underscore percent so this end and begin <coughs> you can define in dp but in percent you can define as a number so for example see this guideline begin is vertical right you can see that arrow here hmm? if i click on that arrow it will shift to guideline end the type will be guideline end if i click it again it will shift to guideline begin again right so click on it guideline begin guideline end and click on it guideline percent so click on it it will it will become guideline begin guideline end guideline percent okay so percent i i clicked it so fast okay now see begin the meaning of this begin is the upper area if i write 100 dp it will come to 100 dp but if i click it again and i set it to end it will show me 631 dp because the distance from this parent is 631 and if i click it again it will send <coughs> a percentage right so here if i type 25 okay so here i need to type 0.25 because one is the uh, relatable value to 100% so 0 to 1 and 0 to 100 okay so here 25 means this area <coughs> 25 means this area now i will go to the code see i have set to 25% and i will write uh, its id as guideline underscore profile okay see its orientation is horizontal right 
and we don't need to set wrap content and all and width and height you don't need it okay it is already aligned with the parent parent that means our parent layout right now because it is uh, declared here or it is written here now i want to move all of this stuff all of these three elements above this guideline okay so i will do what i will one second now this is tools they have given see the meaning of tools is you will see it uh into the editor but at run time you will not see it so i will write src again and i will <coughs> launcher foreground if i can see okay this is the nice icon we can use so now i want to put all these components above this this helper this guideline right so first what i will do is uh see this image guys this is profile area where this image is being shown then name and some points so we have image and two text view so like this i want to set it up right so what i will do i will go there okay and i will change the size width uh, i will set 80 dp height i will set 80 dp now i want it center you already know how to put it at the center so i will do like this then i will do like this left right to right uh, right i have uh, set to parent now let's set end to end of parent is i have set by clicking on that icon now i'll write start to start of parent and top to top of parent right now that icon is there and i will add some margin top so this margin top will be 20 dp okay now i want to put this text view under that image view right so top to bottom of top to bottom of image view and it will go there and start to start and end to end of parent but here one thing i can do i can use this image view for start to start and end to end so it will be always at the center of that image view <coughs> it will be always at the center of that image view. you see the uh, arrows there one second okay you can see that arrow so that defines your text view will be always at the center and always at the bounds of this image view okay and here also margin top and we will set 10 dp okay and again same for this so i will just copy this and paste it here but instead of image view i will write text view okay so this is how your views are connected now <coughs> you want to set that background this background you want to set right so to set a background you cannot set it by giving some height right because you know height it can be different for different screen resolutions so what i will do is i will create one layout here so for example let's create a linear layout okay here i can take view also okay let's just take a view blank view view is also a thing you can use so view okay uh let's not take a view let's take one more constraint view and let's put all these element into that constraint view constraint layout okay so width will be match parent height also will be match parent i will do and into this constraint view i will take all of these elements 
because below also we need to create some constraint view so it is easier to understand see this is not necessary that you should create constraint view under constraint view okay this is just for learning purpose okay your lay layout may differ hmm? okay now start to start off parent end to end of parent top to top of parent now if i give a background color you see i will set it to the blue okay uh and i will just change the text color of this text color to white i will set it to white color equal to white and same for this text view also okay now if you see it is wrapping my content it is wrapping my content but i don't want it right you don't need it so you can use this guideline for that okay now by mistake i have copied this guideline into that view but here i need to paste it outside that view see this constraint layout is for this content only see what you are going to do is we are going to use first this this is my parent layout first after that one this blue layout is a constraint layout is a sub layout okay and after that one more constraint layout it will come below here okay so into this constraint view i have only three elements 1 2 3 which are centered uh, uh, centered horizontally and centered vertically gravity okay and i have some space here so let's assume this is the 25% space of entire screen okay now to set it you have to use this guideline into the parent layout why because the 25% of that parent layout you are going to use not the 25% of this inner layout right so now you can see this 25% line it is coming here now one thing i will do i will align bottom of this inner layout to top of guideline now you see it is constrained from parent to top and bottom to this guideline bottom to guideline <coughs> now height i will set as match parent and one thing <coughs> what i am missing if i am using other than parent then i have to use set constraint width uh, set co constraint height constraint height and true now you see it is coming okay now i will give a uh, gravity okay here you don't need to give gravity because you are already uh, setting up with the parent so this is how <coughs> you are creating this guideline okay so guideline will not move if you want to increase this area just change the percentage if it is 35% see 35% is this if it's 25% 25% is this now one thing i want to tell you is now i want to add more elements here okay for example if i add a text view here if i add one more text view okay now i have two text view i will just copy them again and i will create two more copies okay now you see this is text view i will name it as a b c and d okay so the text into this is one i will just write guideline second is barrier third is flow and fourth is fourth is 
group okay so i have four text views okay now i can use <coughs> chaining also but then for each and every element i will have to use the margin or i will have to align that element to the first element okay see here i can do this also if you see if one if i move this you can see that alignment dash dash or a vertical line okay now if i if i hold this and if i try to move you can see that line right alignment line okay you can do this using this alignment also start to start of that uh, uh, widget name it is also possible okay so <coughs> this is one way to do this and uh, the another way is to put a guideline so this is the guideline i am putting it here and now i will change it to some dp so let's change it to some dp so i am converting it to the percentage so 0.1 0.2 okay so let's keep it uh, as 0.15 okay now what i will do i will connect or i will make constant of all these elements with this guideline so here i will write start to end of and here the id i will pass is guideline profile now and end to end end to end of parent okay so start to end of the paragraph and end to end of parent now as i have told you if we are using something other than parent into the uh, into the reference then you have to use what constraint width true okay now here there is a uh, i need to delete this code okay because that is for editor purpose not this purpose okay so end to end of parent start to end of uh, guideline profile which is your this uh, okay sorry guideline paragraph we want to keep na not profile guideline paragraph right so it is into the center now i have given two constraint i have to give third constraint so top to bottom of guideline profile okay so at the center you can see it now remember i told you about a bias okay so this bias is this okay this divider is at bias if this is horizontal bias if i move it to the left see that my text view is also moving to the left okay so this is zero now so zero means whatever constraint you have given to the left side it will have zero space in between if i move it a little bit to the right so here i will have that seven space seven number of space to the left side so i want to move it to zero right now i will keep the same constraint for these but one below the other okay so for end to end horizontal bias and start to end i will keep these three things same for every text view 
okay so see now every text view is being constrained from this guideline bias 0 and end to end of parent right okay and now top to bottom of I will have to add top to bottom of property for this so I will copy this and here I will paste it but I will change the name to top to bottom of view A so see it comes down with the view A now here I will go again I will paste it and I will write view B because I want it below the view B and here I will write view C so all of my elements are now arranged according to this uh, uh, word, uh, guideline and one below the other you can use flow here also but we will learn about flow in the next video or you can use chains here even if you use chains here now it, it is one click thing you don't need to add much of the code there right so with the chains it is much easier also but since we are learning so I wanted to show you this using this uh, uh, you know, top and bottom constraint with the guideline okay so this is how your guideline works so guideline will not move okay guideline will be there guideline position will be static okay now let's move ahead to another helper in the next video okay so i will stop it here